Well, NASA and the Canadian Space Agency have announced which four astronauts will head to the moon. The Artemis II crew includes the first ever Canadian to venture beyond the Earth's orbit. He is a master of science in physics, an F-18 pilot, and a Canadian astronaut. Your mission specialist, Jeremy Hansen. Hansen and three Americans will form the first crewed mission of the moon since the final Apollo mission in 1972. Artemis II is slated to launch as early as November of next year and fly around the moon. The CBC's Nicole Martellaro was at today's announcement at the Johnson Space Centre in Houston. She has more now on what it means for Canada to be a part of this mission to the moon. What an exciting day here in Houston. The feeling was electric at Ellington Field. You know, even before the official announcement of the astronauts, you could see Jeremy Hansen smiling among all those astronauts ear to ear. So. It was a little bit of a giveaway, but also, you know, it's not, it doesn't come as much of a surprise because Jeremy was uh, was actually recruited at the same time as Davy Saint Jacques in 2009, and he's been training extensively ever since then. Now, you know, it kind of felt like it was his time. So here's actually what he had to say about the announcement and what it means for Canada. For decades now, literally thousands upon thousands of Canadians have risen to that challenge to bring real value to the international partnership with respect to space exploration, to bring real solutions. Our scientists, our engineers, the Canadian Space Agency, the Canadian Armed Forces, across government, all of our leadership working together under a vision to take step by step, and all of those have added up to this moment where a Canadian is going to the moon with our international partnership, and it is glorious. As he said, we have been leaders in the industry, in scientific, in space. It, and it's funny because not a lot of Canadians know that. So, you know, we've had instruments on Martian rovers. We've had an instrument that's gone into the asteroid belt. And, of course, the Canadarm, the iconic Canadarm. And Canadarm 3 will be part of the Lunar Gateway, which is the first space station that will orbit the moon. And it will serve as a jumping off point for the going to the moon and to Mars. But, you know, it's basically showing that NASA trusts Canada and our achievements. And I also want to say that it was really nice to see the support from all the astronauts for Jerry and especially his uh, Canadian colleagues. I mean, clearly really thrilled about this historic announcement for Canada. Nicole Mortellero, CBC News, Houston.